Hey, what's up? I'm Basil Barrington, and last year I did a video of how to set up the Rode Roadcaster Pro with Persona Studio One. Today I am doing an update to that video because the last video I had a lot of comments. People weren't sure about the I.O. setup, how to save a user template, things of that nature. So today I am going to do an update. But before we move forward, there are two things you need to do. One, you need to make sure that your Persona Studio One, be it artist or professional, is updated. And also make sure that your Rode Roadcaster Pro has the latest firmware update. You can do that with the Rode Roadcaster Pro companion app. Why don't you do that? Come back to the video, then we can get started. Okay, so let's open up Studio One. Let it sort of pull up everything, look for everything here. It takes a second, but there you go. I don't want to co connect or reconnect any external devices. And here we go, folks. All righty. So what I want to do here is I want to come over here and select my specific audio device and playback device. You want to select Rodecaster Pro Stereo and it's going to pull up. And then in recording devices, you want to select the Rodecaster Pro multi-channel and then you hit OK. And then if I come over here to new song, you see I have no templates here, so I'm just going to come into an empty song and just open that up. And um, if I just add my tracks here, if I just add a stereo track. Yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so I have two mono and just one stereo. So we have to go into our IO setup. You can select that right here, or you can go into your Studio One preferences, and then you can select your song setup here. So let's set up the audio device. So IO setup. So again, so what you're doing is you're selecting song setup. And then once you're in song setup, you want to go to audio IO setup. So look here, we only have two inputs. So we know that the Rodecaster Pro has 14 inputs, five stereo and four mono. So what I like to do is I like to just blow this away. Let's just blow this away. We don't even need that. Again, five stereo tracks and four mono tracks. So let's add the four mono tracks. So here I want mono tracks. I'm going to call them mic. And then leave a space there. And then I'm going to add four here. And I can give it a color channel color if I want to, but I'm, you know, not really interested in that. But let's go ahead and do that. So my mic tracks, I'm going to make red. OK, my mono tracks, I should say all my mono tracks are going to be some shade of red. And then I'm going to hit OK. So here are my mic tracks, right? So those are my mono tracks. Let's turn them on. Um, and as you can see, they're all set up here. Um, left, right, left, right. That's four. So now we need five stereo tracks. So let's add the stereo tracks. So we're going to go here and we're going to just call these. Um, I'm going to leave it as input because I'm going to rename them, you know, to their proper names um, and the color here. I'm going to just go blue and we want five of those. Let's go five. Hit OK. And there are the five stereo tracks, right? As you can see, I'm turning them off and on and I want to rename them. So I'm going to go. If I can spell here, stereo uh, mix. I know I have a Bluetooth, so I'm going to go Bluetooth. Um, I know I have a TRRS, that is tip ring ring sleeve. And what else do I have here? I know I also have a sound pads. And then I have, what's the other one here? I want to say this is, um, oh, USB. USB. And so everything is set up. Um, let me see if I can move this. I can move this up if I want to. I can rearrange them. Now, I like my stereo track first. So I'm going to just put my stereo track first. And so I have my stereo track, my mic track. I have my stereo track, my stereo mix, I'm sorry, mic one, mic two, mic three, mic four, and those are my mono tracks. And then right below that, I have everything, all my other stereo tracks, my Bluetooth, 
TRRS tip ring ring sleeve, sound pads, and USB. I think it's really important that you export what you've just done, right? First of all, let's hit apply. So everything is turned on because everything lit up, you see. And I mean, I have some like, you know, something's coming in too. So that's pretty cool, right? You see everything bouncing there. Um, so once all this is set up, I like to export what I've just done because let's just say that maybe a friend needs it, right? I can always just send this like exported file to my friend and then all they have to do is import it, right? So let's hit export. Let's give it a name. We're going to go Roadcaster Pro Stereo. Uh, I'm going to go um, um, IO uh, Setup, right? And there you go. And so we are good. Now, here is the other important thing, right? Because we just sort of put together the IO setup. But that's just half of it. Now, what you want to do is you want to create your user template. So what we're going to come over here and do is we're going to, let's blow this away here. We're going to go delete this track, remove this track, five stereo, four mono. Let's set them up. Let's add them. So I'm going to go come over here. So there's one track right there. And as you can see, because it's a mono track, it's only looking for my mono IO setup. So have mic one, mic two, mic three. I want to rename this too. So let's come over here and let's go mic one. And then if I just come back over here, add tracks, let's add three more. Um, we're going to call these um, mic with a space um, format. We're going to go mono audio type. That's cool. And um, we're going to go how many counts here? We're going to go. Let's go three. And um, let's go. OK, so there we go. We have three tracks. So let's set everything up. All right. So again, let's rename this. This is Mike two. So we want to name that Mike two. Um, and then we want to also have it connected to Mike two. We're going to also name this as Mike three. And this one, Mike four. And I'm going to select the interface. I'm sorry, the input right now so there's mic two mic three i'm going to select mic three mic four i'm going to select mic four so now we have all of our mono tracks here again mic one two three and four those are our mono tracks four okay so now let's add our five stereo tracks so let's go up to here i opened up this a little bit too so let's go add tracks we're gonna go these are stereo tracks so let's go and we want five, right? We're going to rename them. We want the format to be stereo and uh, auto color. So we want to do that. Um, let's go. OK, so here are my five stereo tracks. So again, we want to rename them, right? Because we know that there is a stereo mix. So let's go stereo mix. We know that there is um, Bluetooth. So let's change that to Bluetooth. We also know that there are um, sound pads. So let's change that to sound pads. And we know that there is TRRS tip ring ring sleeve. And last but certainly not least is our USB. So now we want to connect our inputs to our specific channels, right? So we have a stereo mix. We're going to select stereo mix. We have Bluetooth. Let's go down and select Bluetooth sound pads. Let's select sound pads. TRRS. Let's select our TRRS tip ring ring sleeve. And is that uh, what is that USB? Let's select our USB. Here we go. So everything is set up. Now, remember, like I said, I like my stereo mix up top. So I'm just going to change that. And now it's saved up. So everything is set up here. Now, if you want to even go in and change sort of the color. So again, you know, you can make your stereo tracks blue. You can make your mic tracks uh, red, whatever you want to do, you know, whatever your flavor is, you can just change the tracks. It doesn't matter whatever you want to do. I'm just going to change like the stereo to blue. All the stereo tracks, I'm going to change the blue. Let's make sure that they're the same, same shade of blue. 
and um, all the mono tracks I'm going to change to some shade of red. So let's do that. Okay, so there we go. So everything is set up here, but we're not done yet. So now what we want to do is anytime we load up a new sort of song, a new project, we want to be able to select the Rodecaster Pro and also select a user template. So that's the next thing we have to do. This is the final step. We have to save the user template. So to do that is you come up to file and is it file? Let me see. Yes, here you go. So you want to save this as a user template. So I am going to give this a name. I am going to call this the road. Let's just go there. You road caster pro set up. And I um, don't need a description here, but I can just guess I can just grab that and copy it here. And then I like to, you know, just add icons and images and things like that. So I do have a picture of a Rodecaster Pro. So let's try and find that here. Um, where is it? No, that's not it. Where is it? Um, it is, I saw it here the other day. Here it is. Uh, yes, do it anyway. Okay, so now it is there. So if I come over here and I go new song, right? And I go to my user templates. There is the Rodecaster Pro setup. So let's do this. Let's go cancel. Let's close this here because I already saved the template. So let's close all. And so let's go into a new song. New song. Um, again, interfaces, my user templates. I'm going to go Rodecaster Pro. But let's cancel that. Before we do that, let's just do this here. So let's act like we just we're starting a completely new session. So we're going to close we're going to close this out completely. Let's just quit this all together. OK, we are done. So let's reopen Studio One Five. That is Persona Studio One Five. Now, while this is opening, remember what we just did. We created an I.O. setup and then we saved it as an export file. And then we went in and we set up a session. Um, or a project or a song and then we saved it as a user template so now everything is set up so here we are we're opening um persona studio one artist it's the, sort of works the same way in our professional or prime as well so once we fire up studio one we want to then select our audio device right here we go so remember playback if you're using the roadcaster pro as an audio interface and you want to select the audio device remember the playback device, you will have to select the Rodecaster Pro Stereo. Then you will have to select the recording device as the Rodecaster Pro Multi. Now, once that's selected, you can hit OK. And now you want to create a new song. We go into our user template. We just saved it as the Rodecaster Pro setup. So we select that. And once we select that, voila, everything is there. Mics, <laughs> the mics are working. I mean, I'm recording right now into the Rodecaster Pro, but the mics are working. Let's see, uh, you know, everything is working here. If I just go into my mic one, there you go right there. You see it's bouncing. Let's hit record as well. Testing one, two. This is a mic check. Testing one, two. Not quite sure why four is um working as well. Let's do this. Let's go. Um, I don't need that on right there. Okay. And there you have it. Everything is working. It's working perfectly well. I love it. And again, remember, the entire process depends on you setting up your I.O. and just for safekeeping, exporting it and then firing up a song and setting up your user template, then saving it as a user template. Well, there you have it, the update version of how to set up the Rode Roadcaster Pro with Persona Studio One. Again, very simple, very straightforward. It's all about setting up your I.O. and also making sure you save your I.O. and also your user template. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace. <laughs>